officially in. There's plenty to taste out here with more than 40 restaurants. There's plenty to sample and lots of really great food. Come on. This annual event is wonderful. It's a showcase for Fountain Valley Food Service uh, and a lot of nonprofit stuff going on. The raffles are great. I have my tickets. Um, the food is wonderful. We're so lucky to have so many, such a variety of restaurants. The base is chicken, pork, a little bit of the clams, mussels, and shrimps. It's all mixed with little spices from Spain, of course, with some saffron on it. And then we make the broth here, so we put everything together and there's a paella dish tonight. And today we're serving our miniaturized uh, poke bowl, which consists of some uh, sushi rice, some uh, salmon and tuna with our signature spicy mayo, and then we have uh, some smelt eggs on top, some corn, some seaweed salad, and uh, some uh, crab. So. A lot of flavor in this little bowl. Yeah, what do you think? We try, we try to make it uh, look exactly like how our, our, our regular bowls look, but just a mini version of it. Inca Cantina, a Peruvian restaurant, has brought their most popular dishes as well. We have as an appetizer, we have the causa, with this as a, as a cold mashed potato that we fill with some vegetable, uh, shrimp or chicken. We also have our delicious empinadas. Uh, beef uh, with a spin a spinach with cheese and chicken and also we bring our curry. What did you guys bring out tonight? Today we brought our barbecue tri-tip. It's roasted 12 hours and it's on the mesquite grill. We also brought our garlic mashed potatoes and our south of the border salad. And what is in your south of the border salad? It has a chili lime vinaigrette and some pepitas, feta cheese, red onion, red bell pepper and mixed greens. It's delicious. And many at this event came with friends and family to try all these delicious dishes. I had kamalachi, I had uh, the Inca, uh, lamp post pizza. Every bit of it is delicious. The best part is the camaraderie, the community, you getting to know the, the movers and shapers in Fountain Valley. If you've never been here before, this is where this is where everybody who's anybody is. I think we have been to all restaurants in, in Fawn Valley. We like to eat out, we like to try out the good foods. But uh, just, just being here with all the friends and the, and the family within the city of Fawn Valley is great. There are also brews to choose from and wines from local venues. Cheers. And that's what we do on the weekends. We go, to, we go out to eat, so this is just perfect for us. Perfect, so we get to taste a little bit of everything tonight, and it's a lot of fun. Another component that makes this even better is that this is a fundraising event. This is where we raise the money to provide things for the Fountain Valley School District. We provide music programs, we have honors, symphony, jazz band, choir, and now a marching band that will appear in the uh, Strawberry Festival this year. Um, we also provide robotics equipment, uh, 3D printers, and this is something that's very important to us. It's also important to members of the community. Why I'm here is to support the Fountain Valley Schools Foundation. So I'm a realtor and without Fountain Valley Schools, you know, they really, the, the connection between buying a home in this area is all about our schools. And Fountain Valley ranks so high with our schools. Susan Sarostri says she helps throughout the year. For every escrow closed, she donates $500 to the Fountain Valley Schools Foundation. If you want to support the Fountain Valley Schools Foundation, you can visit their website at fvschools.org.